I mean, so what's the protocol for actually getting them to to fix something, like the lights that are out? Uh, first, we have to figure out, identify what lights are out, and um, see if it's the Parks Department's lighting division or the City of Boston Public Works lighting division responsibility. Then we have to find out whether yes. Oh, of course, yeah. Please use my name. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Okay, what's your name? It's Megan Kelly. M-E-G-A-N? That's correct, sir. Thank you. L-L-E-Y. I mean, so the lights that are out in the park, they have, I think some of them look like they put some kind of special tape on them to mark them as if maybe they're going to fix them. Um, I believe it's the parks department. That's what I was told, that they are the ones that should be fixing the lights. Okay, I was just going to ask you that. Yeah. From what they would think, we generally put a stripe of red tape around the ones that are loud so that we can yeah. identify them during the day. Yes. So um, I don't remember what color the tape is, but I don't know that there's actually, I don't think there's tape on all the lights that are out. I, I've seen it on a few, but I don't think all of them. Okay, I'll put that here. Megan Kelly called Street Lighting 2. This is the maintenance guy, Street Lighting 1. is the uh, operation engineer's division. Now, um, they're gone. They, uh, they leave at 3.30. Uh-huh. Okay. So, um, okay, I'll write, I'll write down a new work order. I said, I can tell you call Street Money 2, which is the main thing we're in. We have to report several. We did an R and we hope to report. Yes. Okay. So, what is Thank you for trying to fix this for me. I appreciate it. Yeah, we'll just be so much safer if they can just fix those lights because they're like a quarter of the lights are out at this point in the park when we go for our walk. Correct. It's it's kind of all over though. It's not just that area. It's the entire park scattered throughout. So it's not like there's an electrical problem and they're just all out in a row. They're out all over the park and then there's lights around them that are working. And if they don't fix it within the week, do you have any suggestions for what I can do to get it fixed? Uh, I don't want to pass the bus, but I have tried calling the, uh, I can give you the number for the uh, engineering division, just for the guys that have all the plans for the uh, nope. area. No, I don't have the engineering okay. division's number, but I'm happy to take it. Okay, it's your code 617. 617. 635-7576. Okay, Boston Engineering Department. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you. And let's see, uh, on this work order, I'll put down Megan Kelly called Street Lighting to support several lighting out in the public eye. All scattered outages. Now I put down and finish it 
Little Mac, that's meeting myself. I'll go down okay. there tonight. Little Mac. Um, oh, you're going to go down there tonight. You're my hero. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Any color. I like any color. If you're going down there, I'm happy with anything. Thank you. I'll put it. I'll put an orange stripe. Sounds great. <laughs> okay. The black pouch is found. And just know, like when, when you're marking them, just know that there's at least eight out. So don't give up until you see them. Their lights are kind of sporadic there. So you just have to really look and walk through those little pathways and things to find the lights that are out. Fabulous. I'll put a double strike. That way you'll know with me. Thank you. That would be amazing. Okay, I'll try, I'll try my best. My name's Billy. Oh, Billy, thank you. You're my hero, Billy. I really appreciate you oh. making the effort because it really makes a big difference for the safety for, for me and the pups when we go outside. So thanks for going to do that and going out of your way. You often told you'll be in a bigger dog. I know. I don't think I'm allowed to have any more dogs. I think the city of Boston might take them away if I get any more dogs. <laughs> But I'll just say Billy, I'll just say Billy told me to do it. <laughs> okay, that sounds great, Billy. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Hello, guys. I'm so sorry about that. I was just calling the city of Boston because I am still trying to get the lights fixed where the puppies and I go walking. Um, I don't know if you guys... I'm pretty sure you can probably hear the audio pretty well from that phone call, but it doesn't sound like it's getting fixed anytime soon. Um, I'm just trying so hard. I don't know how to get them to fix the lights, but um, I'm going to go out walking in a few minutes, but it's been pretty dark and scary outside. So um, that phone call just took a really, really long time. And it sounds like Billy's going to try and Billy sounded like a really nice person, but um, spoiler alert, I don't think Billy's going to fix the lights and I don't think they're going to fix the lights. So um, I've just been trying to do my walks a little bit earlier, but um, I'm sure you guys are experiencing this with your Yorkshire Terriers. It's just getting dark um, so early these days that it's just, it's tough to have enough time to, you know, get your walks done and get them in before it's, you know, too dark to be outside anymore. So um, even I was just filming for YouTube and things, and it's even just getting dark to to even be doing a live and things. I can probably, I might just turn my ring light on so I have a little bit more light on me. Look at who just got groomed and not by his mommy. Oh, Alfie, you look so good. You look so good. Yes. Um, the groomer came the other day, and she said I did a great job with the grooming that I did recently, so I felt Really, really good about that. Poppy, you're next. Um, she showed me a few things when she was grooming, like how to lift up their legs to get under their underarm area um, and some little tips of that nature. But um, gosh, I always lose my scissors. Oh, there they are, guys. So um, I don't think no matter what I do that I'm ever going to be as good as the dog groomer, she just does such a fantastic job. She has such a good eye and the dogs look absolutely beautiful. So guys, who is on today? I'm so sorry. I was on my phone call, um, but that was just a long phone call where we really didn't get much done to get the lights fixed. That's for sure. Um, I tried. I tried my best. It's so, I don't know if you guys live in cities, but it's pretty scary when it's dark out there in the city. So would love it if you guys would jump on and say hi. I always like to know who's chatting and who's, you know, on YouTube at any given day. Um, the dogs are doing pretty well. I drove back to New Hampshire to see my mother yesterday, and um, I had somebody watch two of the babies, and I brought Lola with me. So it was a little bit of a long day, and Poppy, I can't tell if it was Poppy or Alfie, but I left both of them with the sitter. And they were a little bit upset and had an upset tummy today. Um, so I'm going to take them on a walk and I hope that our time together makes them feel better. But I think that they were upset. The ones that didn't get to go with me were upset.
but I couldn't bring everybody, including the cat. So I just brought Lola with me to, to make it manageable and so that the cat wouldn't be left all by himself. Hi, baby boy, you're so handsome. Um, Lola wore one of Teddy's old sweatshirts and she looked so, so cute. It was the most adorable little thing. It has a skull and crossbones. And um, she was she was really good. We went to, it was the anniversary of when I had lost one of my siblings. So I went back to visit my mom and keep her company and things. Um, and, you know, she was happy to have her day brightened up by Lola as well. Oh my goodness. I don't know why, but Poppy seems to have had more little eye crusties lately than I remember her having. Not sure why. Hello, Mira. Thank you so much for joining. It's nice to have you on. I just thought I would pop on for a couple of minutes after I made my videos. I always like to say hi to everybody and see what's going on, how your weeks are going, how your puppies are doing, if you have any questions. Um, Lola wrote in her little sleepy pod, as she often does in the car, and she was really good. She makes, she whines probably like at least an hour and a half of the day when she's in the car. But um, I think she still enjoyed being with me. She enjoyed seeing her grandma. And um, she, I took her to the cemetery with me too. And she, there's a little, um, so it's actually, we were visiting my little brother who passed away about, mm, I guess it was 19 years ago yesterday. And we have this beautiful bench with an angel where he is. And um, Lola didn't like the angel and she was barking at it. So she was being, she was being really funny. She's such a spirited little creature. Um, I just, she always makes me laugh and she always makes me smile. So it was really nice to have her with me yesterday. It's always nice to have that one-on-one -on -one time with the puppies. Hello, Jackie. It's so nice to see you. Thanks so much for popping in to say hi. I always really enjoy my visits, even if they're even if they're a little bit brief sometimes, I just like to pop in during the week. I feel like a little bit of a mess. I wore my hair, I didn't blow dry it. I wore it natural and I'm, I'm not used to that kind of wavy look, but I was taking a little break the past few days from my beauty routine. Oh my gosh, Poppy's so cute. So, so funny. I had groomed the dogs or, you know, done my best to groom the dogs. And I thought I took so much hair off of them and it just seemed like I had just like a massive pile of hair. And then the groomer came back and she wound up taking a bunch of hair off as well. So um, I guess I hadn't taken off as much as I thought. Um, I watched a little bit of what she did and was kind of doing my own stuff. So I learned a few tricks. I'll practice again next time. She said, it's totally fine. I'm welcome to practice on the baby's hair. Um, and then she'll fix it up when she comes. So she's really, she's super, super easygoing. And she said she'll kind of make me like a little diagram about how to cut them better and, you know, and give me some tips and things. But she showed me some tricks for grooming the ears. Um, she showed me how to like lift up one of their legs when I'm trying to cut another leg so I can get them to hold the leg straight. Um, so it was a very, very helpful experience. And it made me feel good that she didn't think that I did a terrible job with their grooming. And also it made me happy that she wasn't irritated with me for cutting their hair and wanting to practice and learn how to groom my own babies. How are you guys doing and how are your babies doing this week though? Any, any news or any questions or things that are going on? Oh my gosh, she's so cute. What a good girl. That's so nice, Poppy. So this is not about the Yorkies, but the cat um, had a little, I don't know if you guys ever have any, it wasn't exactly an emergency, but do any of my viewers have a long haired cat like I do? I don't know if I'm the only person. I know most people are on here because of Yorkshire Terriers, but I have Simba who is my Siberian cat and he's the world's sweetest cat. Just curious if anybody else has a, has a long haired cat or if it's just me. Um, so basically my cat, um, the other, the other night he was acting a little strangely and he kept going to his litter box probably about five times in an hour. And then he was crying really loudly after, and I couldn't figure out exactly what was going on, but it just seemed 
sort of strange that he was acting like that. So I was up a little bit late that night and then I decided just to, I was like, I need to take a better look at him because something's going on and why does he keep using his litter box? So basically, um, apparently what happened is the cat had tried to poop. He had gotten it caught in his hair and then it must have happened several times and it was a disaster. It was stuck and he couldn't go to the bathroom. So that's why he was going to the litter box so many times. I'm sorry that this is a gross story, but it happened. I'm sure we've all had, um, we've all had our, you know, pet emergencies. So basically I needed to do an emergency bath situation the other night. And I don't know if you guys have ever tried to give a bath to a cat, but he did not like it. And it took about a half an hour to fix, fix the situation that was going on. So, um, that was our night the other night. He was such a good cat though. He was screaming. He was so upset, but I think he knew I was fixing his problem. Um, the next day when he was all clean and dry, I used my clippers and cleaned him up. So it was also handy that I had those. But if any of you guys have long haired cats, definitely watch out for that because man, it is a, it's, it's funny. Of course, things like that never happen with the Yorkies. Hold on. Um, but it was a real disaster with the cat. And I felt so bad that I didn't realize that something was wrong with him. I should have known. I'm going to move you over, honey. I should have known that um, it was unusual that he was trying to use his litter box as many times as he did. Um, but I didn't really know what was going on. So it was a little bit of a, a scary situation. I was happy. I had to like be leaning over and giving him his bath. And I was a little bit worried he was going to either bite or claw me. But sweet cat that he is, he did not hurt me. So Simba is the best cat ever. Hi, Tiffany. How are you? Tiffany says, hello, Megan Fur Babies and everyone in the chat. That's wonderful of your groomer to give tips. None of my palms, previous groomers did that. I agree, Tiffany. It was so, so nice that she did that. Um, I was really, really thankful to, for her for being so kind to me. Um, she's a fantastic groomer and she knows that I just want to be able to know how to do it as best as I can when my husband and I are traveling in our trailer with the babies because I don't want to just get random trailer or I'm sorry, I don't want to just try to find a random groomer on the road because I'm entrusting them with my little babies and Poppy. Don't potty on the rug. I see how you're sniffing it. She looks like she's being a little bit naughty right now. She's so funny. So I just really wouldn't feel comfortable just to drop them off with any groomer if we're in a different city or something. So she she totally gets it. Um, but yeah, it was really lovely that she did that, Tiffany. And I was so grateful that she did that. Mira says Bentley is also doing just fine except for bad weather. No more outside walks for our Yorkie. Oh, that's such a bummer. How how bad is the weather, um, Mira? Is there, I mean, I know there's some days where you can't do walks, but there should be some days where you can do some walks with your Yorkie, right? Um, I mean, if they have, is it, is it really cold and things like that? Because usually you can do some paw protectant, like the company that I have in my Lynx Poly Pet just came out with a really lovely paw protectant that you can put on their paws for when it's snowy and cold and things like that to protect them from the salt and the cold. Tiffany says, I don't have a long haired cat, but we'll get one eventually. I prefer the really hairy ones. There are two wonderful cat groomers on YouTube. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I didn't even know there was such a thing as a cat groomer, but of course there are, right? Um, he was not very happy when I took out my clippers to clean up his little his little bum area, but I did still clean it up and fix him up. And um, he's a great cat, but boy, that was not what I felt like doing. I think it was 1130 at night when I discovered the problem and I had no idea that that was happening. I was like, oh my gosh, this is such a disaster. So thank goodness I fixed it. Um, Amelia says, hello, Megan. My male Yorkie will be one on the 22nd of this month. His name is Bentley. So cute. He has been the best addition to our family. Um, that is amazing. I'm so glad you're having so much fun with him. They are, they're just the best little creatures. Um, like yesterday is always kind of a sad day for me. And I was so glad to have my babies. We were we were just all cuddled on the couch and I had a little Afghan over me and the girls were laying on the Afghan, just cuddling me. So there's nothing better than to have the love of a Yorkie. I just, I love it so much. Oh my gosh, Mira, that's so cold. Well, hopefully it will get warmer and then you can 
you know, get some walks in then. But that, yeah, there's really not much you can do with weather like that to go outside. That's for sure. Guys, it's so nice to have you on today. If you haven't already, please go ahead and hit the like button if you like the video or hit the dislike if you don't like the video, whatever whatever you honestly feel. It's always fine to be honest about the video. The start of it was a little rocky because I was on the phone with the mayor's office trying to get things fixed, like the street lights, so I can go out there and have some safe walks with my babies. Megan says, hi, Megan. Hello, other Megan. Um, I was wondering if you let your Yorkies potty indoors since you're in a condo, or do you still go outside for them to potty? So Megan, um, I do a little bit of both. I think I, I don't know if you've seen my house training video, but I think I talk about that in my house training video that's in my Yorkie playlist. Um, so I do a little bit of both. So we have not been outside yet today, although it probably would have made sense for me to go out a little bit earlier when it was lighter. Um, but anyway, we haven't been outside yet today. So I usually do one walk outside per day. And then the other times they use their potty pads. Um, so they really just use either one depending on what is available. Um, yesterday, like for instance, I went, you know, to see my mom with Lola and she obviously I didn't let her go to the bathroom in the cemetery because that would be disrespectful. But like we went on a little walk after being in the cemetery and she used the bathroom there outside. And then um, when we were at my mom's house, she went, we had a potty pad set up for her and she went to the bathroom on her potty pad. So they kind of just do it interchangeably. Um, it's, you know, it's really easy for me to have Yorkies just because I'm not always available to take them out. And I've got like today I had a doctor's appointment. Um, don't worry. It was just for my beauty stuff. I got a little Botox today. Um, so I had my doctor's appointment today, so I didn't have time yet to take them out. Um, but I'm going to just take them on a little walk now. And oh, I just remembered, I just got some new long underwear and I left them. My laundry is downstairs and they're in the laundry still. Oops. My neighbors are going to kill me probably. Um, hello, Pippa's mom. How are you? It says, hi, I'm enjoying watching your journey about learning to groom your dogs. Oh, thank you so much, Pippa's mom. Well, I'll definitely be giving it another try in a few more months. Um, it was so interesting to watch the groomer. Um, she did a lot of the, the legs with her scissors and it was really, really helpful to see how she moved. So she would like pick up their legs and then use her thinning shears gently in here. Um, obviously not on me, but on the dogs. And it was just interesting to see how easily her scissors move. So you know, whenever you're learning something, you always have to go slower, right? Because nothing is second nature, but man, she's so good at it. And she made everything look like it was effortless. Like it just took no work. So that was super, super interesting. Um, I'm nowhere near her skill, but I know I'll get it eventually. I mean, when I started to do hair color, I was so slow that my teachers at hair school used to always tell me, that I was really slow. They were kind of mean. So they said I was really slow and I was going to be a failure in my career. And um, I wound up being like one of the most popular hair colorists in Boston. So they were wrong. Um, I'm still not the fastest person, but I take my time and I make everything, you know, as beautiful and with like the best detail possible. So I don't really take it personally that they didn't think I was going to be good at my job. Um, yeah. So that was kind of funny, but Oh my gosh, Lola, you're so cute. You are so cute. You got a lot of eye boogers. Yes, you do. I can't believe I keep forgetting to get my laundry. It's been, it's just been such a busy day, but it was nice to see my doctor and um, keep up with my beauty stuff. And of course, get the dog's beauty stuff done with their grooming too. Um, there's always so much hair in my apartment after I get them groomed. It's amazing, but I just find it everywhere. Even after I double vacuumed, I mopped, and I still found hair. So the hair just gets everywhere. So I did my robot vacuum as well as my other vacuum to pick up as much of their hair after as possible. Megan, you're welcome. I hope you like that video. It's been, um, I made it just because so many people were asking me for a house training video and it's been one of my most popular videos. I think it actually might be the most popular video I've ever made. Um, and I was just very upfront in the video. I told them that my dogs are definitely not perfect and I still have some house training issues, but I also talked about the things that I did that worked really, really well. 
Um, hi, Denise, how are you? Thanks so much for joining. Um, so Lola and Poppy are exactly the same age. They are both eight years old. They'll be nine years old in May. And Alfie is four years old. And I think he's going to be five years old in February. Um, I didn't get him with a baby, so, as a baby rather. So it's always a little bit harder to um, remember his exact age. But Oh, Lola, you're such a good girl. She's been so funny. She hasn't really been, the other two walk really, really quickly and it's easy to walk them. Lola, you barely even have any hair. You can let me brush it. You're fine. Um, but she just has been stopping a lot, wanting to sniff everything, wanting to mark everything. So it's been really kind of hard to walk all of them together lately simply because she's been stopping so much and she's very, very um, kind of like demanding about, oh, you really don't want your, looks like somebody doesn't really want their legs brushed today. But she's been kind of funny where she'll just plant her legs and it's difficult to even um, make her walk at all lately. So um, she's, she's a little challenge, this one. I love her so much, but she's a challenge. She's also my best friend. Um, hello, Ruth. How are you? It's so nice to see you. I'm, I feel kind of bad, Ruth, because I'm not going to be on the live stream for much longer. I actually just did a quick one because it's getting a little bit dark here and I'm going to pop off of the live stream. But I know I will do another one next week as well. Um, it was kind of a funny week for me because I went to my mom's yesterday um, because we had lost a sibling um, a long time ago. But just, I always like to kind of like, I don't want to say cheer my mom up because you can't really cheer someone up from that, but, you know, give her a little bright spot in her day by seeing me and, um, and things like that. And then Monday I was really busy with the dog groomer. So that's why I didn't have too much time to be on this week, but I still just wanted to just pop in really quickly, you know, say hello, let you guys know I'm thinking about you and I hope you're having a wonderful holiday and everything. Thank you so much, Ruth. I really, I appreciate that so much. Tiffany, it's so funny, isn't it? Like yesterday, even trying to get Lola to the car, I really just couldn't get her to walk. And my mom was like, I think you just need to pick her up. But I just kept thinking maybe she was trying to find a place to go to the bathroom because we were in a different spot. And I think it's just she wants to sniff everything and see everything and things like that. All right, Lola, this is probably the best I'm going to do with your legs right now. Well, guys, I think I am going to bundle all of us up and go outside because I was on the phone at the beginning of this, and it's because I was trying to get those darn street lights fixed, and they're still not fixed. So maybe I'll bump into Billy, the guy that might be fixing the lights. Let's hope he's out there. Um, I hope you guys are having a beautiful week and also I hope you're making the very best of this holiday season and that you're getting to see some friends and family and also just it's nice to get to see you and I hope you're having fun with your babies. Thank you so much, Denise. I really appreciate that. Sending you love and light and hoping you're having a wonderful day. Look at that little cutie right behind me. Are you a good girl? Look, at. do you see? There's two of them. Do you, do you wanna? Do you, do you wanna? Do you, do you like? Do you like? Do you wanna? Yeah, you're a good boy. You're a good girl. They're so cute. I love it when they do that. Sorry, their little heads just kill me. Oh, she's out of here. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. I'm sorry that this live stream was so small and short and that I started it while I was on the phone, but I could not get off the phone with the guy that's supposed to fix the lights in the park. So fingers crossed, say a little prayer that those lights get fixed and I will talk to you guys soon. The babies say goodbye and guys stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in a couple of days. Okay. Bye guys.